Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing all right. This is Tyler and I'm here to kind of um, give a little extra Easter egg about my project here, especially with the Cezong language. Now this doesn't have anything to do with my trip per se, but uh, what I have here, um, let me just explain this to you. This is a little web page I created, not these things here, but this whole thing. These are actually part of a dead website I'll show you. This was part of MyAndMyBible.com way back when, when the website was still good. You can see there's an English and a Burmese version here. And uh, they used to have a feature for doing parallel reading. And uh, that feature was disabled when uh, something happened with their website and it went down. Luckily, I had an archived copy of their website, which I'm now using. And so I took that archive copy of the website, I put it on my own server here on my computer. This is a Linux computer. And I now created a small web page with two frames that I can use to compare translations. So for example, I can load the Cezong translation here, and I can load the Myanmar common language translation here. So for example, I was looking at the Book of Romans. Now the old version, you were able to, you know, uh, keep it all in unison and change them all at the same time. Well, unfortunately, uh, with the constraints that I have, I'm unable to do that, so I have to do a lot of this stuff manually, but um, it still serves the purpose that I want, which is to get a kind of rough comparison here. So, what I can do with this is kind of look at its grammatical structure and compare it to the Burmese grammatical structure. And uh, you may be asking, why don't I just do that with English? And my answer would ser would uh, be simply that the grammatical structure of Cezong is closer to that of Burmese than it is to English. <clears throat> so let me give you an example here. Let's make sure this always stays on top so I can still click. So this phrase here, Tua Ahile, Tua is like um, this or that. He is um means to be pretty much in English. Le is if a uh, refers back to tua. Think of it like almost like a conjugation. That's not exactly what it is, but you could think of it in that term. So with Spanish you would say esta for um or el esta for he is. You wouldn't say el están because that would be he they are and that doesn't make sense. So with the with the uh here, that's referring back to the toa, the this. So toa hile, if that is true, and then in Burmese that matches up with tho pie hien, if that is true, though that um, pie to be hien, meaning is, tho pie hien, if it is like that, or if that is true, ju te xie, so, Ju people, Ju people, Xie, V. So, we can compare a lot of structure here. But then I'll find some words that I don't know. I haven't found any word lists, right? So, let's look at this here. Um, Sang in Hampat Zokna Kat Bo Anasium. Right? So, Let's just take a list phrase right here. This whole thing right here. Now let's try to compare it to the Burmese one here. And I can see, just because I know Burmese, that the translation is not exact. This is saying something like, Jews are... Um, oh, it's a question. Are Jews... Oh, do Jews have, um, oh, like an advantage, hampat zokna khat bo anasium? That's kind of what it's saying there. Now, we can, we can test this and see if it's kind of like that in the English version, for example. So, let's load up the English version here.
it's always good to check. Then what advantage has the Jew? Yeah. So then what advantage has the Jew? And this leaves out the Gentile part, right? But if we probably look, say, at another version even. Oh no. This, uh, this did not do it right. So here I can just flip them. There we go. So let's look at Romans 3. Go over to Romans 2, 3. Yeah. Though to the Pyin, Juda Lumudi, a Bethu Dadani. So this is closer to the English. If that is so, how how are Jews yeah, how is the Jew more? How is the Jew um like above is kind of what this is meaning. But this is saying if that is so and I actually I shouldn't say khat, I should say cut. Khat would be more like didim chin and this is sizang. So you can kind of see how comparing these two translations can um figure out new uses for uh, for these words. Now I knew that sang, just this part here, sang would mean, you know, van, but in. I'd like to figure out the meaning of this word in. And hampat, I can guess by the context. Yeah, but oh, zokna, zokna. So zo is like more. Zok is the secondary form. This is a very interesting part of Sizang. So we have zo which is kind of like in English more, but that is the first stem, stem Roman numeral one. There's a Roman numeral two stem, zot. Think of it like in German, how you have, you know, gute and guten, depending on whether it is nominative or dative, something like that. This isn't the same case, but it's something you can kind of um, uh, compare it to if you're familiar with these types of things. So zot also means more. But then this um, suffix na is a nominalizer. So a a more ness. So zot na is kind of like zot na equals more ness. So when you're saying so Jews subject uh, Gentiles than whatever the in is I don't know uh, let's see I'm guessing hampat means advantage so let me just put that there moreness one cut is one and I have no idea what bull means so that's something else I'd like to figure out bull and then a uh, refers back to the Jews. Um, so that would be like third person plural marker. And then to have, then question. Something like that. That is totally not linguistic. Any linguists who are watching this right now are probably uh, gouging their eyes out at uh, looking at that. But that is, you know, kind of how I'd like to explain it in the best layman terms I can. I know a lot of people are already confused, like, what, what is he talking about? But, um, yeah, that's probably the best I can do with explaining it. But it's just a fascinating thing, and these are just some of the things I do in my free time. You see, it's already 12.30, but, um, you know, I this is the kind of stuff I enjoy. And these are little tools that I've used my online, uh, you know, HTML and everything, knowledge to, you know, be able to have these resources and create this tiny little tool I can make just for comparing these things. So please feel free to leave your thoughts and comments, and I look forward to talking to you again. Bye-bye.